so my life in Nigeria versus my life in Ghana is not something I want to compare because they are nothing alike do you understand for those of you that have been following my journey you can tell my life in Nigeria versus my life in Ghana is nothing alike I went through hell and trauma in nigeria and i didn't say it but you saw it a lot of people saw that transformation that transition from extreme struggle to me being here not okay like that but not as bad as it used to be so i know i love ghana but I don't mind going and then coming back here so let's get back to reality i made a video here the other time crying guys i legit cried i know that is nothing strange to some of you because you see me like that almost every single month some people got to meet me through that so it's not like something that i said i never did but I have said that in 2023, I wasn't going to be crying in public because, man, I'm not baby Wendy, okay? I am not a baby. I have said I was going to cry in my room, get up, come out here and look all perfect, perfect, so that other people too would think that it's all well with me. But some of us cannot pretend to be what we are not, especially that day. The whole thing took me by surprise you know because i didn't expect it i wanted to live here for at least a year or two before the rents will be increased or something this is not me deciding what they should or shouldn't do with their property but i it has been something that i thought you know i didn't know that just a few months into moving here um this middle of somewhere uh the rent is just going to be increased a lot of people criticized me for that for saying that the rent has been increased they asked me if the rent uh whatever if i got a lot of those negative comments but i deleted them because i have said that in 2023 i'm not going to be doing haters i'm going to give my energy to where it matters creating content and focusing on those that are truly supporting me because those that don't like you no matter how much you explain yourself if you like key yourself explain yourself they are not going to like you if you cry they will say okay you are doing that to gain sympathy you are doing crocodile tears you are doing this think you want to tease it comes like that when people don't like you they are the one that always need that explanation from you those that genuinely like you and understand your journey oh, they don't need any explanation from you so that culture usually tell me i'm gonna send you this money if you like use it to clean use it to clean your butt i don't care my own is that lily you see this money you need it i don't know how some people are like that she don't want any explanation she don't want anything so i have come to realize i don't need to explain myself to anybody a lot of people came again with the last year energy of saying me i'm crying i'm saying ghana is expensive it's not about ghana i didn't say in that video that anything about expensive i only said being an adult is difficult for some of us okay it's hard for some of us I, it's hard you know if you understand before now before this 2023 i didn't have the amount of responsibilities that i'm having right now right now i'm paying school fees for three kids that is not what i'm used to doing yes i'm used to paying maybe once for for one at a time it has been me paying school fees for my niece Antonia and then paying for praise but I have not had to do where I have to pay for all of them at the same time and then pay for a house rent at the same time you know I have been doing things that I can but you see as you continue to grow both in age and in any size anyhow you know your responsibilities kind of you know increase which is a good thing normally but in my case i feel like i'm not prepared for the life i'm living now i feel like maybe there's you know there's something i should have done earlier that i didn't do but now everything is shocking on me to get it and i felt like sometimes i felt like i moved to ghana too quickly too soon i didn't think about it i didn't plan myself well so that was why um i cried i'm glad that a lot of you are gradually coming to realize that content creation is not easy and it's also a job 
because out there if you are lucky to get a job that pays you up to a thousand cities you are just lucky that is for people with work permits work permits in ghana for a nigerian is 500 us dollar every year okay by the time i'm able to raise that i will now get a job that maybe pays me a thousand or less a thousand or less in ghana and then how do i survive with all the kids so a lot of you have a lot of you have come to realization that i don't really need those jobs i need to you know do more grow more you know succeed on here and i appreciate that so why i cried and i said i was you know i didn't i never said i was going to move back to nigeria it has not been something that had ever crossed my mind to say i want to go to nigeria i know like some days now i have been thinking about that because the rent is about to be due you know it's almost here and before you know it schools will close and reopen and other school fees so i feel like you know i've been calculating maybe take my kids to my mom let them stay in the village let me move my things keep them somewhere to get it sort myself out maybe and then come back again that is me thinking i know as an adult you think and think and think and think so me going back to nigeria is not something that i want to do but if i was i don't have any other choice do you understand so i didn't come here saying ghana is expensive okay i never said so for me i have gone from that extreme struggle that all of you watched me go through you saw it it's not like you didn't see a lot of you saw it a lot of you wanted to help <laughs> But you didn't know how and then all of a sudden I picked up my pieces and I left my kids in Nigeria and I came to Ghana Immediately I got here. God blessed me a lot of things started happening for me And then I was able to get this place. I was able to move my kids to Ghana You know, I just did that which to me I don't take for granted but then you know as the responsibilities increase and of course youtube is not somewhere that you relax like it's okay oh i've gotten to the root of it except your channel is very big for me the monies i make here i put it back investing it back into the channel by using it to create more content using it to do a lot of things because if i want to relax and just enjoy what i'm making here it is not healthy for me so that is all i never said i wanted to go back to nigeria or something and a lot of people reached out to me based on that video you know suggesting that i change my kids school i've explained this before in many of my videos why the kids are in a private school i have a child living with disabilities do you understand do you even understand my darling do you understand <laughs> i have a child living with disabilities and if i send her to a government school they are going to empty her because the crowd at the government schools is so much and second primary school where all of them are kids with no conscience they don't know anything because they are babies they don't know anything they are going to react based on what they see and it's going to affect her do you get it in a private school the teachers are always enough to go around for these kids and they are putting eyes on them if she goes through that bullying they the teachers take care of that they try to correct these kids but in a government school where the population is much 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 sometimes much you know beyond the teachers control they won't be able to put an eye on her like they are doing in private school they're gonna empty that girl they'll strip her naked every single bit of her confidence is gonna go and where do i start from when she grow up educated girl but with a lot of pain so you see people are suggesting antonia at the same time i've explained these things in video i made a detailed video dedicated to just that the video didn't get the views but it made some usd for me i'm grateful for that thank you youtube so i didn't choose the private school because i'm i'm living life like i like to live large no it's not because i like to live large and then a lot of people also reached out to me telling me around where my key school is because they recognize the uniform they know the school someone reached out to me that she also have a child schooling around that area she mentioned my key school name and she said she know the school very well and it's true so she told me about another school where this where the school fees is less about 750 cities per term 
Guys, this is just school fees. My kids' school fees is not very expensive. What is expensive is because I don't, I pay for transportation as well for them to be taken to school and be brought back because I don't have a car and I can't afford to pay my way to the school every day. And one of them is living with disabilities, meaning she cannot walk. You back her and guys, you don't want to know this part. Trust me, this part, you don't want to know. So even if I get a school near here, I'm still going to pay transport to get them to school. Do you understand? I'm not supposed to explain anything, but because sometimes I come here with my problems and people suggest it kind of hurts, 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 you know? So I feel like explaining make it better, but those who are bent on making it difficult for me will still jump this part. They will watch this video. They will not. They will wait to criticize me for my actions, for my decisions. So I opt for a private school for Antonia because I have explained that. To get it she was asked to go back to gs3 here in ghana and after that we don't know where they are going to place her they may place her in a secondary school in maybe at um, seco accra or madina or even outside of accra how do i cope with the kids without her to get it it's hard <laughs> so you guys i never said i wanted to go back to nigeria the only reason i may go to nigeria is maybe keep my kids with my mom come back pack my things so try my best to hustle tight maybe when the responsibility is reduced on me you know it's going to be a lot easy for me to save up and be able to you know do some things to get so my life in Nigeria versus my life in Ghana is not something I want to compare because they are nothing alike do you understand for those of you that have been following my journey you can tell my life in nigeria versus my life in ghana is nothing alike i went through hell and trauma in nigeria and i didn't say it but you saw it a lot of people saw that transformation that transition from extreme struggle to me being here not okay like that but not as bad as it used to be so i wouldn't okay because of that I'm complaining and besides if I'm complaining it's okay all right I'm only complaining about adulthood not the society or the country which I'm living in okay Nigeria was not easy for me the same thing with Ghana it can't be easy for me because of the amount of responsibility on my neck to get so I never said I want to go back to Nigeria in fact I don't want to go to Nigeria instead of that i don't mind moving to a small village if i can find one but then i don't know where it's easy so i'm still on that all right so don't be quick to judge someone okay so thank you all for watching this video i'll see you in my next one bye